now what we need to do in here is to pass the query string with the value with the index that we created for our loop the index called i question will be enclosed will be enclosed inside this inside the pound symbols that will be converted into a string and it will get stored inside the variable q which resides in our query string so let us see how this works so first of all we need to refer to the index and we also need to refer this index for our anger tag so now what I have done right now is that previously we have seen that we have used the numeric position of the list but now we won't be using the numeric position because the index contains all the strings that we have got inside our lists these things are all lists they are not numeric values so this query string will now hold all the uh, string values rather than numeric values and outside outside this query string or this i question index inside this anchor tag will be a link I hope that you understand that very clearly so for each link we get we're going to pass that as a query string and that will get outputted on our web page so I forgot to tell you one thing that you can use multiple CF output tags in one page it's not a problem so because we have a loop now and we also have a list now we previously saw that we created an unordered list with the HTML tag but we are not going to do that right now we have already done that how is that possible this loop will create all three of them by itself so it saves us from coding such a large uh, script when we go on creating actual websites so what we need to do now is to find out a way how to output our code on the page so we're going to use the CF output again and now in this CF output tag we're going to display our questions or the linked questions which the user user will uh, click and the corresponding answer with that question so now let's create a question a space for question perhaps and let's make the question strong using our strong tags from HTML in this case we will be outputting our values outputting the question using the list get at function that we looked at earlier so when we use this list get at function it takes two parameters but here is a problem the second parameter needs to be a numeric value but because we are using a string value we are going to pass a string value a string value means that contains characters like this but the string value cannot work inside this list getter so we need to convert that string value into a numeric value and how do we do it there is another built-in function from the list uh, from the list feature of cold fusion system and that function is called list contains which will convert this string value to a numeric value for us and we can use that uh, we can store that easily so that we can reference it for our future use so let's see how to do it let's create a variable called from URL and initialize it with the list contains built-in function from cold fusion remember to end your statements with the semicolon and so I think you can see that this function takes specifically two parameters so it takes the string list it's telling me it's telling the data type of what sort of parameter it takes for the first one so it takes a string it's it needs to be a string list and the second thing is a substring that also needs to be a string so the first thing that we are going to use for the parameter is going to the question list and the second thing is going to be the URL that gets passed down when the user clicks on any of the links so what happens is there uh, what this function does is that it takes the URL it takes uh, the question variable and it stores in here and it looks up the list and sees which one matches with this URL or with this string so if it sees that the second list item matches then it converts converts that into a number two and stores that inside the variable called from URL 
and now we can use that variable easily so list get at function also takes two parameters as I've told you the first one is in which list is it going to look for the value so we have created a list called question and the second thing that we are going to pass is a numeric value it needs to be a numeric value for this list get at function so the numeric value we have stored it inside the from URL variable so we have created a space for our question now we need to display the answer the answer needs to be the corresponding answer not just any answer so let's see how to do it it's pretty easy to do it perhaps the same way we're going to do it so now let's reference it using our list get at function this time we're not going to use the question list we are going to use the answer list and because I told you that the list get at function takes the parameter that is numeric for its uh, second argument uh, for its second parameter it needs to be a numeral rather than a string value so we are going to print suppose we are going to print the third question on our page because the user clicked on the third link third link that the loop produced so because it's the third item on the list the third item in the answer list needs to be displayed on the page so the third item what is your profession for the question list needs to have the answer programmer in our script so let's use the from URL variable now and let's save this so let's get back to our browser and we can this is loop one perhaps and we need to change the name of the file and let's refresh the page perhaps there's a mistake I made I put two three double quotation marks perhaps so let's refresh the page again I think you can see clearly that the debugger for this cold fusion system is telling me that an error occurred in line eight so it's also telling me that the invalid list index zero which means when we go back to our script this list the counting for any list item starts from one so this first item is one then two then three unlike arrows we'll be talking about arrows after we talk about loops in arrows let me give you an idea the counting always starts from zero but for lists because they're not arrows they start from one so what the problem occurred in here is that the page or the server that we're running onto has read the page and it only found that the from URL variable contains an index or a numeric value of zero whereas it was supposed to be containing either one two or three so what is the solution first we can add another attribute for this param tag perhaps the param statement and that will be any and let's change this default value what is your name so now what we have done to our code is that because the query string is going to pass a string this time this default value needs also be a it needs to be a string too it cannot be a numeric value when we pass a string value in our query string because this param because this parameter is only dealing with our URL structure and the queue variable that we pass into our URL so previously we had seen that when we like this script like the script that we created for our list previously we had seen that we are passing a numeric value to our parameter so what happens this numeric value that we pass to our URL needs to correspond to a default value that is also a numeral or a number but in our loop we are seeing that this index which we named as I question contains this strings or this characters which are not numbers so we are passing that as a value to our variable Q through our question into this parameter so this default also needs to correspond to its qu master query string so now what we need is to change this numeric value into a string value and we are declaring 
to have a, it to have a type of any either it be this string or number so that our problem will not occur in the future so let us now also add another b attack so that it looks organized and let's save this code and let us refresh this so now I think you can see clearly that our script is working properly although it's not very organized but when we click on the script when we click on any of the questions that question pops up with its corresponding answer so if I click on the third question like this what is your profession the question comes up along with the correct answer called programmer and if we click on the first one the first question of a list let's just change this code for a while let's also add another beer tag it's looking a rather clumsy code yep perhaps it's right and now when you click on any of the questions I think you can see the change and what if we go on erasing this entire query string and you can see clearly that the default value that we placed as the first question or the first element or the first item in our list is printed with its corresponding answer and now the next thing that we are going to talk about is how we can use our looping the while loop the do while loop and the for loop in our cf script tag because the next in the next chapter we are going to look at what a uh, cold fusion component is because the cold fusion system also supports an object oriented approach towards our coding it's just like creating a software using any c sharp or sp.net because modern websites are more of applications or softwares rather than just a design or few codes so let us now look at how to use cf script for our let us now see how to use the while do while loop in our CF script